Hi, I'm Alex Shapiro, and I'd like to tell you about my project called Sprout Life, which simulates the evolution of complex life. Sprout Life is based on the game of life, which was created back in 1970 by the late and great mathematician John Conway, who sadly passed away last year. While the original game of life pretty quickly stabilizes, Sprout Life adds an extra rule that keeps the game going and evolving. That rule is that whenever we see a particular seed pattern, we replace it with a sprout pattern. For example, we replace a 2x2 two two block with an arpentomino. That replacement becomes the birth of a new child organism. To make the simulation easier to follow, we add a visualization layer on top of the grid of cells. We track the paths between the coordinates where an organism was born, to where its children are born, to where their children are born, and connect them by lines. We color the lines based on the angle between them. This allows us to see what's happening even when the game runs at many cycles a second. The organisms have a genome. It works by turning off some of the cells as the organisms grow, which can actually make them grow larger. The biggest organisms win collisions against smaller organisms. On the other hand, small organisms can reproduce faster and crowd out the big organisms. This sets up many interesting dynamics. Sometimes we can see big organisms coexist with smaller organisms, forming multi-species ecosystems. Other times we see situations analogous to the fall of Rome or the development of an epidemic, where the population of big organisms collapses due to internal competition, while small organisms arise and completely take over. The genome is open-ended and the game of life is Turing complete, so in theory, any kind of behavior is possible. In practice, there do seem to be limitations, where we don't see the rise of advanced structures like cell walls and the nucleus. Even without fully imitating biological life, sprout life can help us understand lifelike behavior. The emergence of cultural trends, political revolutions, and even business disruption all follow evolutionary patterns. By examining what we see in artificial life, we can better understand real life, and Sprout Life can help us do that by serving as a realistic simulation. Sprout Life is an open source project whose development has been motivated by curiosity and a passion for the subject area. Please reach out or comment on the video if you'd like to contribute. You can find out more at sproutlife.org or contact me at shapiro.alex at gmail.com. Thank you.